Sonny James with Serato here in LA. In this video, we'll be taking things a bit further and discussing how to MIDI map in Serato DJ Pro. MIDI mapping is such a useful feature to utilize when you have a piece of hardware that doesn't quite have the functionality you need available at your fingertips. For instance, when you need a way to easily trigger cue points but don't have a mixer with performance pads at your disposal, MIDI mapping can solve a lot of problems for you. There also may be instances where you have a fully mapped mixer or controller for Serato DJ Pro, but have a couple of functions not included in the native mapping that are essential to your workflow, and adding them can make life a lot easier for you. So let's get into it. First off, you'll need to connect to your mappable mixer or controller of choice. Once that's done, you'll need to go to Serato Settings. Then click on the MIDI tab and be sure that MIDI mapping is enabled for your connected device. Be sure to check that box and then come out of settings. Click on the MIDI button here. You'll see the MIDI panel open below the decks. There are options to map all four decks here. Some features that are frequently mapped include auto loop, loading to the deck, silent cue, and instant double. However, most of the functions in Serato DJ Pro are able to be mapped. And when you move the cursor around your screen, you'll now see all of the features we can work with. Before we begin, I should note that not all buttons on every mixer will send MIDI information, but most will. So you may want to map your first cue point to a button you don't use on the Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus 2. I usually use channels 2 and 3 for mixing, so let's utilize buttons that are meant to be used on channels 1 and 4, since I won't be needing to use those channels. Please note that in addition to the feature you've mapped to the button, it may also still perform its original function. So I'll hover over the first cue point on my left deck to assign mapping to it. I'll click it, and now Serato DJ will tell me to choose a button on my mixer. I'll be using the headphone cue button for channel 1. I'm going to click it, and it should turn blue. Then, I need to make sure that the data type is correct. For this function, I'll need to use the relative on-off option. So I'll hit my C key until this option is selected. I'll repeat these steps from my right deck by clicking the first cue point here. Now I'll assign the function to my headphone cue button here on channel 4. Once again, I'll select relative on off as my data type and I'm all set. I can now close MIDI preferences. To save your MIDI mapping, you can go to your MIDI tab in Serato DJ settings and press save, and then name the mapping. I'll call this mapping QE Lewis. You can save several mappings here and load them when you're ready to use specific ones for specific devices. There's so many ways to easily utilize MIDI mapping for most Serato DJ enabled mixers and controllers. And as you can see, it doesn't take much time. See how you can use MIDI mapping to create a more personalized experience when mixing with Serato DJ Pro. For more information on this and more, visit serato.com.